Okay, uh, today is the rundown. It is November 7th, day before the election. It is brought to you by Lisa Mattresses. Mattresses, mattresses, mattresses. If you want a mattress, get a Lisa mattress. Sleep on a Lisa mattress. Click on the link below, $75 off. Um, doesn't matter if you use it today, tomorrow, whenever. Lisa mattresses, 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 mattresses. The only mattresses of Barcelona Sports. Um, as you can see behind us at the Barstool Bar, we're doing a Barstool Marathon today. Uh, I don't know how great it's going, if we're being honest. I don't, I don't know. If I don't think it's one of our best ideas. I don't think it's the best idea. I knew even coming in, I'm like, this is going to kind of stink. Um, yesterday was the New York Marathon, so like maybe if we're running it while the marathon was going on, a little bit better. You almost need to do like what Riggs did. You got to have how a suit you on, doing? you have to have a hot chick on. Terrible idea. It is a terrible yeah. idea. I mean, I'll, it's one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. I knew it was really bad. I mean, King Arca letter in chief is like dead on the floor over there for 45 minutes. This is, well, we have gotten girls. So I will say, so Erin Alash is in. Um, I found her on YouTube. I thought she was funny. Bring her into the office, see if she's funny. Um, we've had a couple girls. People I hadn't seen, Alyssa, who is a full time uh, employee. Guys running on treadmills, not so much. Glenny Balls will be electric. Glenny Balls, who just yeah, got in the is, house, Glennie. will be very funny. Normal dudes. Aaron, probably pretty interesting. I'd watch. Um, the rest of it, not so much. Anyways, into the rundown. Glenny Balls. NFL. Um, Patriots didn't play, so I barely paid attention. I think the biggest game by far was last night. The Redskins beat, I mean the Redskins, the Raiders beating the Broncos, which is, I think, good as a Patriot fan because now it doesn't look like they'll have home field. Uh, Jets stink. They stink so bad. Uh, Saints they're won. On, they're on the big verge. win for the Saints. Go Saints. Lifelong Saints big, fan. Big fan. The yep. Jets are on the verge of something so bad. Eight, what do you mean? Eight games left. We got guys not showing up for meetings. Guys refusing, refusing to talk to the media. The coach is a fucking joke. Nobody believes in the quarterback anymore. There are bad teams, and then there are teams that are about to slip into, like, a catastrophic fucking cataclysm I mean that's the Jets this is every year right this I mean, is yes this is not like, anything new but I think there was hopes that this year we would not get that and oh we're getting it my director brain which goes into smut mode a little bit do we have like all camera angles of her running <laughs> yes the eye, in the sky. eye in the sky never lies as in <laughs> ass front back everything like the fact that I got to produce this whole fucking thing makes me sick. I'm kind of rattled we're not watching this yeah. No, yeah, I'm we the should only just take one. a break. <laughs> you don't get here by not being like, I mean, what the fuck? Let's make sure we got it all. Um, I will say this about the Jets. They stink. And I'm very, uh, I'm not wrong off. I thought they were going to be decent. I thought that so did I. That's what I'm saying. So did I. He stinks. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's terrible. And he's a defensive, he, can't, he was a D coordinator, and his defense stinks. Their secondary is trash. What are you doing here, Todd? The only thing that's saving, I, like I said, last night, the picture, I, I tweeted it, the, the Raiders owner's box, you see that picture? That was, incredible. That was electric. <laughs> that's what I want the Patriots to kind of go to when they got in the fight with Goodell. Just be the bad boys of the league. Las Vegas Raiders I can live with. I think they should stay in Oakland, but the black hole, all that. The NFL, the Raiders are one of those teams. When it, they're good, the league is better. A thousand percent. 100%. There's something about watching an Oakland game at night when they're good, where it's like you want to watch and the whole atmosphere. So I'm glad the Raiders are good. If it's the Raiders versus the Pats, AFC Championship, I'm all in on that. It's one so, of the few bright spots, I think, in the league. Is that the Raiders yeah, are pretty really, good? Yeah, really. good to watch like a is, Well, yeah. I guess you can say, I mean, some of the premier teams, the Cowboys are apparently yeah, good too. That's true. So, I mean, even like a Cowboys-Patriots Super Bowl would be pretty electric. But overall, a fairly boring week. I was on a plane the entire time, um, flying back from the Breeders' Cup. And, I mean, the games that were on TV, like I couldn't even watch. They were so boring. I watched uh, the Nice Guys, some uh, the Huntsman movie instead of watching football, which is like not a, a good sign. Sad no, state of the football. Um, the Mannequin Challenge, things going bananas. I first saw Michigan do this on Friday. They clear. I don't know who started. Do we know who started the Mannequin? I have challenge? no idea. I don't know. It's, I love it. I think it's awesome. I've heard a lot of people be like, it's so played out. I hate it. I actually think it's pretty funny. So too. do I. I, I laugh no every it. time. It's one of those things where the internet is now bashing it, and I, I, I'm firmly team mannequin challenge. It's easy. It's quick. It always get, I always get a chuckle. It's not like it's the funniest cool. thing in the world, but I, no, I don't it's mind It's just like it. friendly, stupid humor. I like it. It's great. What's we would do problem? a funny one here. The Cowboys one, Jerry Jones on the plane. Now that was laugh out loud funny. Now, Everybody's shaking. <laughs> to their defense. 
to do they're a They're old as shit. Hey, they're old as shit. I think they're on a plane. So you have a little bit of turbulence. You have a little. It's not. It's like not the, the best setting it's for the not mannequin the challenge. The easiest place to do the mannequin challenge. If they were aware that it couldn't work, like the lady holding the plate, that wasn't Alzheimer's. <laughs> that, was, that was a little bit of turbulence. That was old, though. That was more old than anything. It, I think there was a little bit of turbulence. Again, even Jerry Jones being happy because the Cowboys are playing so well, it kind of makes me happy. Like a happy go, go lucky Jerry Jones is probably good for anything. We probably should do the mannequin challenge here. We could do a funny one. I don't know how long it takes to make it, but we probably should do this. By the way, everything that's going on in this office today, I feel like... We, the thought may be there, but this has been a bad rundown. This has been a bad treadmill challenge. We, when we were talking about how like nothing has changed in this office, this is this exemplifies Whose that. Whose idea was this? Do we know? I think it started with Big Cat, and then they're not here, so, so uh, they set us up. <laughs> like, so I mean, classic. They set classic us up for fucking, fucking failure. Really. Like, but I will say, I mean, we like we ran. I can't laugh if I get to the laughing point where you're like, <laughs> you my just, chest like, start is coughing. Me. So can't I don't even mean it's bad for the sake of running. I'm going last. I can't run 100 yards. Fact. That's just a fucking fact. So Do you think you'll beat me? What would you run it in? Nine minutes. No, definitely not. I'm not even going to try to beat you. Minutes, but um, yeah, it was 12. <laughs> it was like 12 and change. <laughs> what are you? Of, of peanut did you say nine? nine the, the, like the, our graphic says nine. It was 12. It was 12 and change. How are you doing? It was 12. You look like you're doing pretty good. Yeah. I want to hop off. Yeah, that, you no, you can't hop off. No. Loud Sean. Is she part when she talks? Can people hear her during yeah, the? the microphone right there. No, I see the microphone. I didn't know if it was part of the rundown. It can. All right, um, got it. Next up, penguin fight. Like I said, this has been all the stoolie commenters are gonna be like, "You guys jumped a shark." This is the worst day of content. I don't totally disagree. I'm not happy with the way it's going, especially when we got a loaded house of talent in here today. Um, penguin fight. This went viral Friday. Feidelberg said it's a must-watch video, the most must-watch of all time. What do you got? It's definitely a must-watch. I mean, it went super viral. That poor penguin, man. Just that, give the I recap. Mean, a penguin walked up on his penguin wife fucking another penguin, and then an all-out brawl broke out. There's not many things on the internet that I can't really watch, like where I turn away. That penguin getting fucking swatted and pecked to death, that did it for me. That was some, like, I could only take so much of that penguin getting fucking torn apart. I didn't really mind the gory aspect of it, <laughs> I, but I genuinely was like very sad guy. at the yeah, end. Yeah, absolutely. And when he kept coming back and like making a final plea and she was like, get out of here and left with the other guy, I was rattled. And that's the I was, problem. Like, that's, genuinely rattled, hungover, upset. It was, it was devastating. That's absolutely where that penguin devastating. went wrong. Do that we have penguin, one? Go ahead. That penguin needed to know when he, like he was beat. He kept going back, like, bro, it's not happening. She's fucking a new penguin. It's time to move. Ocho Cinco said it best. You don't brawl. You dap it up. You keep it moving, and you do you. That's it. I did not even watch this video. Oh I didn't God. even open it That's because amazing. I saw the screen cap, and it had a penguin with blood all over it. I hate animal violence. I can't watch any of those, like, animal kingdom things when the leopards chase. I don't watch that shit. I don't like any of that. True story, I went to spring break in Puerto Rico. And I'm a degenerate gambler, so it's like, oh, let's go to the cockfights. Because you see the things, everyone's betting on cockfights. Did not fare well. I had to leave so quickly during the cockfight because it sounded like this pe <laughs> it, 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 it sounded like this penguin thing. She's done. If we don't have a, a vine of her ass running, someone's going to get fucking fired. Uh, just for the record, fired. I had one eye on Olaz and one eye on you guys. I know you. Run that. It was you do. All right, good. Anyways. Am I doing this right? All right, perfect. The cockfights. The, and this is what it sounded like the penguin was. It sounded like... Now, this is what everybody tuned in for. <laughs> Welcome to the torture chamber. Um, it... it it sounded like By the way, Aaron, Aaron said she would go out on a date with Glenny if he ran, so. No, you said might. You got, you got high five with her? What? Maybe. She, did, she <laughs> said enough. maybe I will, uh, maybe I won't. Maybe. Can we keep on point for this thing? Sorry. The cockfights, it is what it sounds like. First of all, they go to the cockfights for people who have been, they have a little stuffed animal, like a hand, a hand puppet, and they punch like Rocky Balboa before. You got to like hype they, them up. Yeah, they hype yeah. the cocks up. <laughs> what happened in every fight is one of the birds roosters, whatever they are, wants no part of this thing. Yeah. And they're running around trying to get away from the other cock, and they don't stop it until he gets beat to death. I'll be honest, it was I the don't... most gruesome, fucking disgusting thing I think I've I ever could seen. watch that, no problem. I don't care yeah, about I don't, chickens. I don't really give a like shit about Like dog fighting? No way. Everybody penguins likes cute. penguins. Cocks, roosters, whatever they are, yeah. I, don't, I could watch those. I don't know. No, you wouldn't. You'd be wrong. So anyways, I didn't watch the video. I heard it's horrible. 
Um, commercial break. This rundown is being brought to you by Oaks and Cokes. Drink them, drink them, drink them. Um, and the Barstool Bar, Glenny Balls, uh, just cruising along at a nice cruising pace, which I appreciate. Um, next story. So I, I kind of appreciated this one. We basically, Wait. the article is basically with all this virtual porn that's coming out, and everyone's trying to make advances in the porn game, all the robots, robots with warm pussies, there's all this shit out there. <laughs> It is. <laughs> Robots with warm pussies? Yeah, that was last it's, week. It, it's like heated up? Yeah, so it's that's like a great it's supposed idea. to feel that is, like that's, that's an genius. excellent idea. Yeah. I like that. Uh, this person's going old school and be like, forget the robots and forget the mannequins and all that. I'm going to develop basically a mouthpiece to give better blowjobs. It seems like a no-brainer. Um, I'm surprised I'm, it's not. I'm a little confused. So this is like to stop teeth? Yeah. No, it's the texture. It's a texture. But my dick is not really hitting the roof of your mouth, is it? I yeah, I I, I think if my I dick like is hitting the roof of your mouth, you're giving me a very weird blowjob. I thought it was just a mouthpiece that makes it feel better. Why don't you like it? I don't know. I feel like I feel like if you're gonna give a good blowjob, you gotta just give a good blowjob, and that's your thing. If you can't, you can't. I don't think you're gonna come in with some wild fucking retainer. That that <laughs> I mean, come that, on. that that I couldn't disagree with that more. So I mean, I there's mean, sex toys there. If some chicks like, I have this device and it's gonna give the best blowjob ever, I just stick it in like a mouth guard. What's wrong with that? I just don't even understand how it really enhances it other than stopping know. the teeth. I just don't get it. It could just- Like if you're, if you're gonna do one of the mouth things, you should do uh, what the right. cure has okay. where it's like the whole mouth. Let, let's move past that then. <laughs> let's hypothetically speaking, everybody agrees it gives Sucks. a better blowjob. I, well, I don't know, I don't fine. like the whole retainer teeth thing in general. Like they look skeleton-y, they look fucking yeah. weird, I don't like it. Like heat of the moment, she reaches over and grabs a mouth Something guard. Something that looks like a fucking, fucking sex toy. Skeleton, th uh, no, I don't That's like That's a strange sex toy, it's not a sexy sex toy. There are sexier sex toys out there than a retainer. Yeah. Coming from a guy who doesn't like 69. Who I, that's yeah, a I, joke as well. It's a childish move. It's absolutely a child move, and she agrees asked, with me. You, you think 69 uh, us is a childish move? Can, they, can we hear her answer now? Get her Boom! Over Get over here. Really loud and, uh, Just come over here. Come over here and, and talk into this. She knows. She, she gives the exact reason I give. 69 is overrated. What do you mean overrated? You can't. When I'm in 69, I'm not. I'm definitely not giving 100% blowjob. Yeah, and I'm definitely not giving exactly what I said. But I'm not able to focus on my pussy thing. being. Yeah, it's a mental thing. So, mental. Mental is a big part of everything. Mental is fucking. Exactly. Sports which is, why is like 90% mental, 10% physical. Right, same so as sex. I feel like you're yeah, on the other side. Right, so it's hard to fucking enjoy 69 because if you're mentally- No, you're, you're mentally like, oh, we're 69, that's cool. But she's a porn star, she's so experienced. It Fair needs point. to be like 100% like perfect at this. If you can't I get a perfect rather... blowjob, for most normal people, you're doing you a little bit of both. A, no, no, no. Would you wear a blowjob mouth it. guard that supposedly get, makes you get better You know head? what bothers me about the blowjob mouth guard is no. like, who is supposed to, pr who brings that into the party? Like if Same it's a dude or the girl. Same person brings any sex toy into a party. Oh, you no, think I the mean, dude could be like, here, put this in? No, like, girl has to. No, because it's got to like fit to her mouth. Right? Right? A girl it's, has it's to. It's like girl right to your to. teeth. It's a custom. But also like, imagine you came over to my house and I'm like, oh, wait a second, I have this thing. And I grabbed it out of my drawer. You'd be like, ew, that's definitely been on someone else's dick. That's also a fair point that yeah. I didn't think of. Great point. point. So. I mean, so you're kind of turning You got to take it out of the package. Right, it's gotta be fresh. You get a new one every yeah, time. I bet, like I bet that's actually how it works. I bet you use it once, throw it away. I not almost guarantee that's not uh, it. There's no way. There's I no think... way you get a custom mouth guard and you throw it away every single no, time. I think the girl throws it right back in her dresser. This oh, is a man stuck. scrapping, trying to recover, trying to figure out how he can spin this argument, and it's over. Power walk. It's a weird thing. Staying with sexual stories. Um, segue to me. Reggie Bush. Now, I thought this story came out a while ago, first of all. So Reggie Bush has a mistress who is also fucking... Alonzo Mourning, Oof. and apparently cool. taking I didn't know that. So. Uh, uh, taking uh, sterility, fertility drugs, so she could have Alonzo Mourning's kid. On per like on they're purpose. trying to have a kid together. Yeah, did okay. not work somehow, and then has Reggie Bush's kid. Reggie Bush is married. Reggie Bush pays this woman three million dollars to not have the kid, and she's still having the kid. Yeah, because a kid's worth way more than three million dollars. Is it? Did she? Is a kid worth way mil more than three million? Dude, how? do you know how much I'm what? spending on my fucking kid already? For the, like the lifetime of a kid? Wait, time out. But, it, but wait, wait, wait. What? That's yeah, because it's your fucking kid. <laughs> wait, did he actually pay the three million? His fucking kid. She turned it down. No, she, she turned it down. It. Oh, I, 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 I thought she turned, she, turned she turned it down. Feist, did she turn it down? I, I'm not on the show, so I didn't read it. 
no, 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 no. Time out. You don't, she. Rowan. You looked she at turned it, it like down, you right? got to put your kid through college. She didn't take the money. She right. had the kid. It was like, that right. Take the money. Because, right. Because no, she, she did both. She had the kid and took the money. She's a scumbag. You can't do that. You can't do that. Well, well I think there's when, no honor in the abortion game. I think when you do blackmailing, it, yeah, you can do whatever the if, fuck you if want. You, <laughs> if you have an athlete's kid, you have that kid. You do not get rid no, of that thing. No, no, you're I wrong. I disagree. Three million dollars is a fair trade. I think you take three million because a kid and all the bullshit that comes Bro, with that you, is worse than. You, and you're only getting. Do you know what you get in child support? No, but you still have a kid. Wait a you minute, have to deal wait with. Wait a minute, you guys are way out of whack with how much you think they're getting child support. I think you can get bank in child support. Like how much? Like, like a million a year? Uh, probably like. You can probably get like what twenty five grand a month. But okay, well, twenty five grand a month over the over the history of a fuck. It's just it's like no, you don't get the ki- you don't get a kid when he's like twenty, do you? Eighteen years. So can someone do math on twenty five grand versus twelve times eighteen? Pro tip. Come on, just ran Come a on, mile. Are you from Harvard? Come just on. ran a mile. You can do it. That. You still have a kid. Just ran a human being forever. You, three million dollars. When you when you make if millions of dollars, around, the child support you end up paying is going to be worth more than three million dollars. I promise you that. But you have a kid. 54, That's 54 million. Fifty-four million dollars. Yes, thank you. Twenty-five grand a month for eighteen years. Fifty-four million dollars. Fifty-four million dollars. <laughs> I mean, you puppets, you fucking idiots over here. Right. Twenty-five a month. No. Five point four million. Thank you, fucking loud, Sean. I knew. All right, so in that case, you take the money. You could go around and make this That's your true. job. You if it's if it's five if it's five versus three, you definitely take I mean, the money. All right, Aaron, come here. Now we're gonna ask you a question. Thanks. Here, you can talk on this. I assume you could trick an athlete into like getting you pregnant, right? Uh, what would be the number to keep the baby? I mean, here we go. Oh my God, Jesus I don't know. Christ. I don't. I don't want to get pregnant, so I don't think I would ever do that. That's what. Twenty I'm million, saying. thirty million. There's no number. Okay, yeah, maybe like twenty million would be acceptable. Actually, one. What million. about? <laughs> Whoa! We're going that down. number. That number dropped real quick. Hey, that changed yeah. quick. Cool. What I got about twenty bucks in my wallet? Yo, yo, can I just I give you a word of advice? Pregnant. Don't have a kid for one million dollars. But don't do that. I don't want to get pregnant, so. See, I would. If I was a girl and I looked like you, that would be my whole you probably game. So no, I wouldn't have the kit. I would be the blackmail person. Mm. Like, that's I'm a, pregnant. That's a great that's a good Here's point. three million. Before you know it, you have like they 50 million. Do that. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't believe that. If you just say like, hey. No, I'm you have to have an abortion. You okay. have to legitimately. Okay, yeah, I'd do that for sure. <laughs> that's like legitimately a, a business. That's a business model. Business. Yeah. I mean, I think that's pretty much her business model, right? Isn't that kind of what yeah, that doing? is what this that's girl's business doing, model yeah. is, except she's keeping except, the kid. Right, that's the one thing that doesn't make sense. Yeah. So what's your final answer? Final answer is I like your idea, and I'd probably Ooh. practice it if I didn't have a moral compass. <laughs> but I think I do. I'd like to say that I do. Okay, so that's a kind of a no answer. Uh, <laughs> no ish. So I believe Reggie yeah. Bush needs to up this number. I believe you're you you, you play the hand that you're do you know dealt. So like Aaron was dealt. That hand. hand. I was dealt a hand that gave me this gigantic brain. So I built this. No. You just deal with what you had. But if I was a super hot chick, that's athletes, that's a that's a fair trait. You, no, I got She's on right. You have to ago. convince Nine them that ago. you're you have Actually, to really be pre- no. I think it's yeah, a, pregnant. You have to be right, really right. pregnant. It all, it all just it's a dollars thing. It just comes down to what you can get for child support, I think. Do we have any idea how that really works? Does anyone know what child support is? What percentage of When you make what? millions, you probably can What do you mean? It's, oh, it's yeah. percentage of income. No, it's percentage of income. Which is what? What? So it, we, we have you, a million you, you people here. No one can tell me the percentage from. that it is. Roan wrote the blog. Yeah, I think he put in a number in there. I think you can get a this, lot of money. This, in this, this. It was definitely the 6.2s when I got up. Okay. All right, whatever. The, the point is, I think this girl, first of all, Well, 25, three children, okay, one kid, seventeen percent. He makes one point five million. Oh, that's not enough. That's not enough. Absolutely, no, I was enough. right all along. Yeah. Take the money and get out. It's absolutely insane. 100%. The second part of the story was we're talking about this. Is she just wants to be famous? She wants to be like a Kardashian. Well, that's a little different. If you have like a famous kid that maybe makes it, then Reggie Bush maybe makes an appearance in the show, shit like that. I mean, Reggie Bush is not really rich enough or famous enough to do this racket with him. That's the real problem. Nobody gives a fuck about Reggie I mean, Bush's he dated kid. a Kardashian. Long time ago. Um, all right, this, this rundown sucked. We can call it when we see it. Election coverage tomorrow. This will be good. 
This should be good. So we're going to have wall to wall. We're going to Barstool News, BNN, me and Riggs. I think Cat Temp are going to be on the desk. We have remotes with the uh, PFT Big Cat. They're up in Canada. My dad, uh, I think Tico, Texas, Detroit Dawn. Um, Plenty balls in Times Square. Plenty balls in Times Square. We're going to be throwing it all over the country. I know we're forgetting somebody good, too. Who? Laduca, maybe. Um, oh, EDP. Yep, my dad. Side note to my dad. People who think I exaggerate what my dad does. Frankie has been walking around here trying to teach him Skype, and he was on the phone legitimately for an hour and 45 minutes. He's like, I've been talking to your dad for an hour and 45 trying to get him. He to said your dad went out into the street from his house because he thought the password would work in the street because it didn't work in his house. <laughs> It's it incredible how little sense that makes. <laughs> it, it, it's it incredible. That's, that's it why we're having them on. And, and, and by the way, the second this airs, I'm going to get like four texts being like, that's not what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a thousand yeah. percent happened. The guy still, still will fax me stories he sees on the internet. Like legitimately. Like instead of sending the email, he prints them out and faxes them. Love so that. that's love Michael that. Portnoy Esquire. Um, that's the rundown. Do we have any post show? Anything? Where's Nate? How did Nate do in Aruba? Third place. What? Yeah. I got third place in like a fake tournament. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He got KO'd from the main one. He's oh, on the beach right oh, now. Okay. Oh. He made like six grand though. He the, did make six in, grand? In the side thing. Got it. It was like three grand what? and then he made like 2,000 something in bounties. I don't even know how that works. I saw, I told you guys, I saw of all, I've always held that Emily Radzikowski is like one of the hottest chicks I've ever seen. I actually saw her at the Breeders' Cup. <laughs> Dorky boyfriend, stunningly, like I told you guys. You know what? That, that, that is either shocking or not shocking at all. Yeah, like I, kinda, I could see her being like artsy and weird and shit. It, so but there was like there boyfriend. wasn't even it an wasn't even like hipster inch of me being like that's a cool guy. But Not even in a point. hipster way. And I see maybe guys who point. aren't like great looking. I'm like, ooh, that guy's kind of like a cool guy. That guy was n there was well, he is because he's banging out Emily yeah, Ratchet. Right, so I mean, whatever he's doing, keep doing it, bro. I would say, I mean, obviously super hot, but wasn't. You said you said Aaron was way hotter, right? Aaron, Aaron, if you if, if, yes, like if you you'd be like, whoa, who the fuck is that? Faster than who who the fuck is that to Rajkowski? That's what Which I, said I when guess I though. In. That's, no, that's fair. Right, that's yeah. exactly what I thought. That's, What's that? That's, fair. that's what I, mean, I thought when I saw her when I walked in. Well, so who the sense. fuck is that? Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So the election. This is it for you, man. This is like you know you better. This is why you're here. This is the biggest production we've ever done. Nothing could go wrong. We're good to go. We We're had ready. our first production <laughs> meeting. Um, it's a lot more thought out than this. And was this the PFT guy, PMT guys? That they really set us up for failure. If they're like, we're I'm, gonna do this. I'm and like, then no we shit. can and go out of the sky. But what's that? And then not come. I know. I'm, I'm pretty positive it was the PFT guys. <laughs> I we were in on the meeting, and I really feel like this was a PFT original. We Specifically also, PFT. We also had Tech Pete being like, we need to spend all day today doing pre-production for the election, and instead <laughs> we're yes. doing the fucking. Oh, <laughs> they wanted. Uh, I get Simmons, that uh, Facebook Live, my thoughts on Simmons. Um, it was on real timing, me obviously being at the Breeders' Cup when that news broke. I feel like shit always breaks when that's something like I was dressed. By the way, my outfits were, I mean, spectacular. If you, can, if, you can pull, if you can pull those outfits up, they were like really good. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the show was terrible. Here's the thing. He's I got the charisma of an ant. He's rich as fuck. But. I can't tell if this is good or bad for us. Oh, I don't think it matters. Well, I think it matters because I think that there's someone's going to be like, well, the most popular person in that field bombed totally, so we're not even going to try this again. Fair. That's a fair point. But, but what they and, don't realize is he has the charisma of an ant. But and, and that's not and, just and me fucking. Ant. And that's not just me saying it. he does. I mean, he always has. So it shouldn't be a reflection on us or anybody in the space. He's terrible at TV, what? and anybody who thought he'd be good at TV That's is what? a lunatic. There was something else that was gonna, that brought up that I was Glenn, gonna mention. So, are you still going silent? You can't possibly be moving. <laughs> I'm relaxing. I'm relaxing on the marathon. Pace yourself. But yeah, so what, is, what does Simmons do now? Does he try again, or does he, he just cut his back. losses and I say, I don't think it. he's gonna do TV, but he'll probably produce shows, which he's really good at, right? And he makes nine million or seven million a year. So, I mean, Could be worse. I, I don't think he's, I will say this. And here's another difference between Simmons and I. I honestly think, and this is good, he's hurt by this. Like, he's the type of guy who it doesn't matter that he's making seven million. He's you think it's gonna rally him? He's a sensitive, delicate flower. Whereas if I made seven million and I literally, we just 
That's not turn true. the cameras on and how you think I'd care? Yes. If we bombed, totally, yes, you would care. And, and I, I, would, I would hope you would care. And I'd have, and I made $36 million. I'm not saying you would be like I, I won't losing care. sleep. No, I won't care. You yeah, would. Yes, you, you absolutely would. would. Bro, you were the most competitive person in the world. Yeah, for sure. No, give there's me that not money. A, no, there's not. Yeah. When your Cuban thing didn't go great, weren't you like devastated for hours? Money rings. I want money. So if you got the money, you're fine. Yes. I don't think that just wipes out your competitive edge. Neither no do I. chance. If people, if you that's had, my if, competitive edge. If you were making seven million, there's be somebody out there making ten. If you're making ten, there's someone making thirteen. And if you were just getting clowned on because your show sucked so bad, you would absolutely one thousand percent. I'm care. not one of those guys who needs a hundred. Give me, give me forty, and I'm good. Yeah. Forty, and I'm out. Give me that Simmons contract. That number's always going to keep going up. That's 100%. the thing. Hundred percent. I can't believe you're even saying this about yourself. I think this is a knock on you if you would have a shitty show and not care about it. If people didn't like it, if I you can't were the laughing that. stock, who cares? Yeah, who cares no. what money you have? Oh, I do. That's I can gladly be a laughing Glenny's stock. Done. Good job, Glenny. Um, <laughs> Go ask Aaron now. Oh, and Jerry Thornton. Oh yeah. Jerry's back. Jerry's back. Uh, actually, but people are fucking psyched. I mean, this I'm was mad. big news. People loved this. Yeah. loved it. Front page, New York, uh, Boston.com. So. Good for that. All right, that's the rundown. Great it was, show. It was. This won't be our finest content. Day. It's not no. going on. The, it's not going on the fridge at home. No. no We're setting is. the bar low and then coming in tomorrow. Tomorrow's huge though. Yeah, you come in hot, too hot on Monday. The rest of the week is not right. good. This yeah. is smart. And, and we also have uh, a Taylor Hall hockey challenge on Wednesday, so that's. So it was good. smart for us to just suck yeah. today. It's good. Yeah. All right. <laughs>